Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us here on Geek Tech Industries. Stick is here, coming at you with episode one of season eight of the Iron Man Challenge, hosted by Captain Adonis. Uh, information down in the description down below, as well as other competitors. So uh, the Iron Man Challenge is a uh, survival challenge for uh, Empyrean here, where there are very specific rules that you have to abide by, uh, and you only get one life to live. So let me get this set up. All right, I've been given some very specific rules here, so I'm going to set my seed, 1-1-1, one, 1-1-1, one, 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 because this is my first time out. Uh, ooh, Geno. Okay, I wonder what that's going to be like. Uh, all right, so I do have to go to hard settings. So we got a hard start for equipment. Player progression is set to normal in this case. Degradation speed to fast. Uh, enemy difficulty is hard. NPC spawn rate is high. Overall drone presence is high. Drone base attack is hard. Food consumption is fast. Oxygen consumption is fast. Temperature radiation impact is high. Constructor craft speed. Blueprint production speed. Blueprint spawn limit is set to true. And block limit for certain devices is set to true. So now this way I, I have to spawn uh, HVs and SVs and capital ships on a base. Um, for example, and the block limit says I can't put too many blocks in a particular ship. So, or uh, amount of ore per deposit is poor, number of deposits is few, and auto miner depletion is true. So we're going to hit OK. We're ready. Uh, looks like I got, ooh, heavy gravity, 121. Whoo, watch out for broken limbs, everybody. Here we go. Here we are, coming in now. Woohoo! Geno, here I come. So uh, I do apologize for poor frame rate in certain situations. My my potato computer can't handle it. So I got I'm, I'm running on 720p with uh, uh, very limited settings. Yeah, some wreckage, awesome. Now I got a couple of different options here. My my first video here. My first mission is to stick the landing and get to the wreckage. Fair enough. Should be fairly easy. Now, I've got three options. Okay, so the Robinson Protocol comes up. I can either hit X or Escape and quit out of the Robinson Protocol and get nothing and not know where the wreckage is. Thankfully, um, Captain Adonis is a gentleman and gave me the location of the wreckage uh, to make it easier to get there. Now, the other option is I can hit Skip. I get a limited amount of uh, stuff from that but then I still don't get the wreckage. So again, I'd have to use the coordinates. The other option is to do the Robinson protocol itself and just go ahead and get there because it will tell me how to get there. Now it's also gonna give me more equipment over time. So I think that is actually what I'm gonna do first. So first thing I'm gonna do is go into my escape pod, grab the water. All right, check my suit inventory for helpful ingredients. So that helps me uh, in the survival constructor, which is now built into the suit itself. Uh, and with the new survival tool, which is really a godsend. I love that thing. Uh, really like that new flashlight. I probably, hopefully won't have to use that new survival tent. Okay, there we go. So that's got my stuff there. Uh, not wearing a protective suit. Yeah, I'm in the PJs, just in my jammies. So outside temperatures will have a strong effect on you. Remember, at night, you can sleep eight hours in the escape pod or a survival tent, for example, when uh, at night is getting too cold. Explore the area around the crash site and pick up some plants and fruits uh, you can directly eat. I'm also going to go to Rock Drill, pick up a bunch of these while I can. And let's see here. I'm going to find me. There we go. Bunch of food. Personal log files restored. Ooh. So I'll, uh, I'll push through that in a minute. Just going to grab these. Ooh, there we go. Personal log file, PDA info. Ooh, log file. Start to remember details. What happened? Why? Yeah, you know, I don't. I'm. It's apparently about something attacking the ship we were on and transporting us somewhere and whatever. Um, I don't even really worry about the plot line. Plot line is ancillary to this game, in my opinion. Okay, so it says create some energy bars and bandages and other food items in your survival constructor before going to the distress signal. Also cross for a survival tool and drill stones for ore or deconstruct wreckages for components when you come across them. Now I found a small wreckage, a couple of small wreckages over there, and there's a wreckage over there. So I think I'm probably going to start heading that direction, I guess. 
I mean, I gotta be careful. I got heavy gravity on this planet. If I fall, I could potentially break my limbs really easily. So something I have to be. Oh, that was something I dropped. Something I have to be very aware of. All right, let's see. So I guess I'm gonna hit up that small wreckage over there first, and then I'm gonna detour over there. Ooh. Actually, it would make more sense to hit this one first, and then that one, I think. Oh, I miss having my jetpack. I miss you, jetpack! I'm going to go over that copper rock, though. Oop, there's some drop in frames, all right. Ooh, boy. There go. Head over to that small wreckage and gather everything I can on the way there. Okay. Oh, hello, spiders. Well, you're not spiders, you're crickets. Also known as Adonis Bane. Okay, grab that. Thank y'all. Lots of rocks over here. That's nice. Some of you guys might be wondering, why is he jumping everywhere? Well, I find it helps me identify different things in the terrain um, based on how they move and don't against their backdrops. So, oh, there's another piece of wreckage. I'm going to come back for that later. After I get my... Fancy motorcycle. Ooh, hello, hello. Go. A mm. couple more over here. Now, I know it's really hard to remember, but you can't shoot these guys right away. You can't just, like, attack them. It's a bad idea. They have like a poison bite and a poison and uh, are actually pretty fast. Do a considerable amount of damage. No, not too close to that one. Go. Now I think my blueprints, I'm still subscribed to a bunch of... Uh, uh, gear that Zealot created for us for the multiplayer uh, server that we play on. That is actually going to be really incredibly useful for uh, the single player stuff as well. It's he is remarkably stingy uh, when it comes to building uh, uh, vehicles and equipment, uh, and I am very happy to have him as uh, an engineer for our team. So I gotta say, right off the hop, this uh, this year's uh, Iron Man is a lot easier uh, than last year's. Um, things have been uh, considerably different. Uh, last year, of course, we had uh, a hard start on a planet with no air, um, basically Omicron, um, with... Uh, crazy, crazy amounts of heat, um, low food, uh, none of this easy walking through, you know, traipsing through the Thule's, uh, shooting at rocks and stuff with your survival tool. It was, it was truly hardcore and I died off screen in my unofficial uh, playthrough last year, um, <sighs> with an entire boatload, basically most of my inventory full of algae thinking that I couldn't eat it until I could process it into um, uh, until I could process it into something else. Come on. Oh, ooh, I found an iron deposit. I must be getting close to the wreckage then. All right. OK. 
Okay. Oh, you can't get to, you can't stay too close to those guys when you're working either. They they get uh, kind of territorial and a little pissy about it, and uh, they'll actually attack you um, if you get too close to them and stay close. So, which is important when, say, you're drone mining, for example, and you're not exactly paying attention to what you're doing, and uh, you're just there, you know, droning away, and all of a sudden your guy starts getting attacked because a cricket wandered too close and thought that uh, you'd make a good snack. Man, am I ever glad that we are doing this um, on the first day, and I don't have to deal with crazy amounts of spiders in that space over there that's that's not fun Let's see where i'm at with that stress signal find signal source all right so i got a bunch of plant protein 26 plant protein so let's make 13 um energy bars make up some energy bars here and i'm going to continue to pick stuff and grind on Rocks. It's not going to give me a whole lot to start, but it's going to give me enough to uh, build some useful equipment once I actually get myself to the wreckage here. Okay, you know what? Time to head to the wreckage. Oh, woohoo! Level 3 unlocked. All right. So one thing at least with uh, the standard player progression is uh, you're never going to get stuck with, oh, I got to grind some more. I have all this stuff I need, but I need to grind some more levels in order to uh, spawn this HV or to, to get this particular part that I need to add to it or something like that. It'll be a lot easier for us to just deal with um, the rest of the economy of the game. So. Oh, yeah, spicy. I'm also going to, uh, now, of course, your survival tool in defense mode cuts down trees. Which is incredibly useful because this is how you get biofuel now. There we go. More wood logs. Thank you. Nom, nom, nom. There we go. More wood. There we go. And uh, some what is that brain fungus? Natural stimulant. Okay. More wood. Oh, speaking of more wood, need more coffee. There we go. Well, that was the last of my coffee. Oh yeah, natural sweetener. That is really important early game. Um, instead of uh, health packs, uh, natural sweetener is incredibly useful. All right, time to just head on through here. Uh, I will be picking up as much wood as I can on the way, whilst also not depleting myself completely. Ooh, there we go. Five wood logs. Yeah, it was worth it. All right, so I guess it's time to actually reserve my energy here. Uh, ooh, copper. All right, so there's the wreckage. It's not that I don't think there are spiders about, it's just that I don't, I don't know. 
<laughs> always in defense mode, always looking around, wondering where the next thing is going to jump out at me. Because you know what? That's what this game does. Mm, food. Hey, energy bars. Oh, man, even the cricket noises make me nervous. All right, so there's the wreckage. Awesome. Personal container in the wreckage sounds good to me. Okay. Go. All right. So it looks like, huh? Looks like that's actually pretty good wreckage. Whoa! Ooh, to be really careful jumping around on this planet oh, because of that heavy gravity. Yeah, constructor, motorbike, that's what I needed. Oh, yeah, motorbike. Some deco. Now consider placing a portable constructor down. Yay. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm totally going to do that, actually. Hold on, how do I get in here? Ooh, tower-like building, which might reveal more information. So that's the alien tower. I don't think... I'm, so I'm not allowed to really attack any POIs. Uh, I'm not allowed to do a whole lot, really. Um, but I can do stuff like building light armor, a pistol or a shotgun, and the appropriate ammo before going there. Okay, yeah, so I definitely need uh, a pistol. So let's get that constructor down, and I'll put the bike in my inventory there. And actually, I've got... That's going to be a good start on fuel. So, here we go. Put you guys in there, you in there. Put it pretty much everything in there. I always turn on faction access even when I don't need it. All right, so this, this was, I guess, the first mission, uh, which is get to the wreckage and, and make sure that you're safe. So... I'm at the wreckage. I've gotten the personal gear, um, uh, the personal container, and we will see what I can do from here. Uh, I guess we're going to call this episode one. Thank you for joining us, everybody. We'll be back with uh, a second episode, uh, probably me doing some grinding, getting out to that silicon copper uh, iron deposits, uh, and probably spawning the first HV. Uh, it's a really basic, bare bones beast. Uh, I love it. Um, it's kind of a, uh, standard, uh, geek tech box top design. So it's going to be what you've come to expect from Zealot. Uh, I, I follow a lot of his design cues. Um, and we will see what kind of mischief I can get up to from there. Uh, in the meantime, don't forget to like, and subscribe, go and follow all the other competitors. All their stuff is down in the, in the, uh, um, description down below. Don't forget to comment and let me know what you thought. And, uh, definitely come back next time for our next episode here for the Iron Man Challenge. Thanks again, and we'll see you guys next time here on the channel. Don't get eliminated!